the start of the big wave tour season brings inevitable risk for competitors. But with the greatest risk comes the chance of reward. Luckily for Grant Twiggy Baker, he starts the 2016 season at a place he is all too familiar with. When I first went to Porto in the early 90s, you know, I, I really took to it. I love the wave, I love the people there. I always say it's my second best country in the world after South Africa. And uh, that all kind of helps. That was the day and uh, it just felt like, you know, accumulation of, of, of years of work. And Grant Baker, the waves are coming to him, the barrels are coming to him. He drops in, he pulls up into the ball, steam rolls right through the tube. What else do you want? Baker again, pulls up into the tube. Baker comes out of that. Cruising through the semifinals, the ocean delivers massive set waves for the finals. Woo! And the crowd is ready for a show. Baker just focused there. up into the ball, drags his hand, gets deep, double spit. Ten, he's got a ten. Twiggy just got a ten, and uh, he's on fire. The final one of the waves of my life, and to get a wave like that in the final of a WSL event is pretty special. There's your champion, 43 years of age, out of Durban, South Africa. After taking the win at Puerto Escondido. The big wave tour moves to the island of Maui for the Piahi Challenge. Piahi contest was interesting because it obviously it started off really slow, but once it got to the final, things got really competitive in that final, you know. That Piahi final was intense. That is Grant Twiggy Baker. He has found a nugget. With surfers in full pursuit of a championship title, the historic big wave break ignited the competition. In the end, Billy played that final incredibly well. Wow, and that wave was the biggest wave that we have seen all day. With a third place finish at the Piahi Challenge, Grant Twiggy Baker is able to hold on as the big wave tour leader. But what looms ahead is uncharted territory, the first ever Nazare Challenge in Portugal. Nazare's, you know, that's the wild card. That's what they want to see. They want to see people crash and burn, and that's our Daytona. Needing only a solid finish to keep the tour lead, a heavy wipeout looked to threaten his shot at the title. I just got beaten up. I was lucky to get out of there just with a couple bruised ribs. However, Twiggy responds and handles the pressure, finishing with enough points to continue as the tour leader, and eventually would go on to be the 2016 WSL Big Wave Tour champion. If you win the world title, can you honestly claim to be the best? I don't know about that. You know, there's a lot better surfers out there than me, but uh, this year it came together in the contest. You know, the championship, it means a lot. It's, just, it's a great feeling to have that uh, pressure off and obviously also the, the prize. To be the big wave tour champion, you can't crack under pressure. <laughs>